Hey guys, welcome to 20701 Continuous Events. Guaranteed, yes, guaranteed to be on your test. It's on every test for every rank. All right, Continuous Event. Before we get into the question, I want you to remember this. A Continuous Event involves only one victim. It's one victim who is taking to different precincts throughout the city and they are victimized, different crimes committed against them, all right? Only one victim. Don't let them trip you up by you ha by them using more than one victim. So let's look at this first question. As we read through it, let's highlight some important factors. So, a 29-year-old female has just finished her Long Island iced tea at the local lounge in the confines of the 19th precinct. Boom. 19th precinct right there should be highlighted, circled, whatever you want to do on test day. As she exits the lounge and hails a cab, two males in a construction van quickly abduct her. There you go. Abduction. Circle abduct. The two males drive into the parking lot of a nearby housing development in the confines of the 2-3 precinct where they forcibly sodomize criminal sexual act her. So, important stuff going on there. 2-3 precinct, housing development. We got a circle, housing as well and sodomy. Now you all know sodomy is a term that has been changed a few years ago, but we still use it, all right? The real, the new name for sodomy in the uh, penal law is criminal sexual act, okay? Let's continue on with this uh, continuous event question. The two males then drive over the Triborough Bridge into the confines of the 114 precinct in Queens and forcibly remove her cell phone and throw her out of the van. So we, now we have to circle the 114 precinct and we have remove her cell phone forcibly. It doesn't say what it is, but listen, we're all cops and I hope you can recognize based on those words that we just have a robbery that went down, okay? The victim who is clearly distressed flags down a 114 precinct RMP who is on routine patrol. Lucky guys, lucky sector having to deal with this bag of shit as I would call it. If I was a patrol sergeant. So, a lot of stuff going on. Now, I just want to throw something stuff at you. This question was not that long, all right? On test day, this could be double, triple the size, all right? Depending on how creative they get. But if you follow the format, I'm going to show you. With a chart that I use, you're guaranteed, I'm telling you, guaranteed to get the question right come test day. So, you set up a chart with, Three rows. The headings are as follows. Precinct, jurisdiction, and crime. And then as you read through the, the question, which we just did, you would fill in the chart. So I'm not going to read the question again, but I'm going to give you the fill-ins based on the information that we already went through and what you circled. So we have 19th precinct was the first, was the location where it started. Jurisdiction code is 00. That means it took place on Patrol Services Bureau. And the crime that started this continuous event was abduction. So you just fill in the blanks underneath each heading. The next series of events that took place, we had it take place in a 2-3 precinct, which was in housing. Remember we said housing development, jurisdiction 02. And the crime that went down was a sodomy or criminal sexual act, CSA, and it was forcibly done. That's a big deal, okay? Then the last crime or continuous event that, that took place on this poor victim was in the confines of the 114 precinct, jurisdiction was 00, where they forcibly removed her cell phone, which is a robbery. So that's how you break it down. You just fill in this chart as you read the question on test day. I'm guaranteed to get it right, okay? So they can ask one question, two, or three, depending on how they lump it together, okay? So yeah, first to answer it, you have to know the rules. With a continuous event, one of the questions they'll ask is, what is this question going to be? Uh, sorry, what is this scenario going to be classified as? Meaning, what are you going to call the 61 number? What's the rule? You go by the seven major 
rule, all right? Whatever seven major you have, that's going to be your answer. If you have more than one seven major, you take the top seven major. So to answer that question, forget about precinct jurisdiction. Go right to the crime row column, okay? And look, do we have any seven majors listed under crime? Abduction, no. Criminal sexual act, no. Robbery, bingo. That's it. Circle robbery. So that is what the 61 is going to be called or classified as. A robbery. Easy. Second question they can generate from this continuous event. What precinct generates the 61 number? Now, the rule for that is the same rule that we use to determine the jurisdiction code. And here is the rule in case you forgot. It's going to be wherever this event started, unless we have a homicide, a rape one, or a sodomy one, which is, all, is known now as a criminal sexual act. So, the rule would be where it started, but we have the exception. We have the sodomy or the criminal sexual act. So, circle 2-3 precinct and jurisdiction 02. So, to answer question 2 and 3, what precinct generates a 61 number? Right there is going to be the 2-3 precinct and your jurisdiction code is going to be 02. Now, if you look at your chart, this is what throws off a lot of people. They see that we circled robbery because, yes, that's what the 61 is going to be called, a robbery. But it does not come from the 114 precinct, all right? You have to go back to the prior rule that I told you to determining the jurisdiction code and the 61 number. If you use this chart, guaranteed to get the question right on test day. All right, here's another question on continuous events, which is definitely, definitely a lot harder than the first one. And believe me, they can make it even harder on test day. So it's going to be using some of the same fact patterns you've seen in the earlier question, all right? So here you go. A 29-year-old female has just finished her Long Island iced tea at the local lounge in the confines of the 19th precinct. Boom, 19th precinct, circle it. As she exits the lounge and hails a cab, Two males in a construction van quickly abduct her. There you go. Circle abduct. The two males drive into the parking lot of a nearby housing development. Bing, bing, bing. Housing, all right? In the confines of the 2-3 precinct where they forcibly rape her. Yes. Now we're throwing in rape, all right? So we're already at an abduction, and now we have a rape. The two males then drive over the Triborough Bridge into the confines of the 114 precinct in Queens and forcibly remove her cell phone. So there, there's, there's that robbery again, all right, in the 114. Shoot her in the head, throw her out of the van. The victim who succumbed to her injuries is found by a passing 114 precinct RMP who was on routine patrol. So this question now incorporates a murder, a robbery, a rape, and an abduction. Uh, three out of those four crimes committed against this poor victim are seven majors. Yes, and we got the murder in there, the rape, and the robbery. This is mind-boggling. It is until you use the chart that we've shown you earlier in today's lesson, all right? So, what you need to do now is to watch part two of this video to see how easy it really is, even though right now you're scratching your head saying, there's no way I'm going to get this question right. And I guarantee you will get the question right if you use the method that we presented to you earlier in this scenario. So watch part two and watch how easy you're going to grab another point that's coming your way 100% on test 